highly social and fearsome predators, killer whales are cooperative hunters that gained their nickname by being one of the very few predators to be able to kill a whale. Let's explore some of the complex hunting strategies they use to dominate these oceans. Off the coast of British Columbia, pods of orcas hunt sea lions using a hit and run strategy. Pod members will take turns ramming and attacking a sea lion, then retreating so the sea lion cannot retaliate. The goal is to keep the sea lion disoriented while causing as much damage as possible. And they've come up with very creative ways to inflict that damage. Orcas can flip the sea lion off their tail, launching it over nine meters into the air and then having it slam back into the ocean. These brutal attacks will continue until the sea lion bleeds out internally from its injuries or dies from exhaustion. The kill is then dragged underwater to be shared amongst the pod family, ensuring that every pod member gets at least a bite of the kill. Further south, off the coast of California, a different pod of orca prepare to hunt a larger meal. They are on the lookout for gray whale calves migrating north with their mothers. The orcas exhibit a strange behavior where they stand completely still in the water and don't make a sound. They are utilizing a behavioral skill called passive listening. By being completely still and silent, they are able to concentrate on their surroundings and detect noises from over 30 kilometers away. They use passive listening because gray whales can feel echolocation on their skin, giving away the orca's element of surprise. When a whale calf is found, the orcas start a strategy called synchronized swimming, where they swim in perfect sync, maximizing speed and minimizing sound as they close in on their prey. A single gray whale calf can sustain the entire pod for over a week. By the time the whales know that they're being chased, the orcas are already upon them and a battle begins. The orcas start ramming the bellies of the whales, their first priority being to separate the mother from her calf. One orca, seeing an opening between the mother and her calf, tries to wedge its body in between them in an attempt to separate the mother by pushing her out of the way. But it soon retreats as the mother, refusing to be separated from her calf, closes the gap, almost crushing the orca between them. The orca then adopt a new strategy of launching their body on top of the baby calf, pushing it under the water and not allowing it to resurface. The mother tries to fight off the orca, but they have been fighting each other for over two hours as the orca are very persistent hunters. So the mother must choose to either give up on her calf or face the possibility of drowning from exhaustion herself. Forced to leave the calf behind, she can only watch as the orca successfully drown her baby. While these orca prepare to feast on their hard-earned catch, in the icy waters of the Antarctic Ocean, another pod of orca has cornered its prey onto a floating piece of ice. Unable to reach the seal, the orcas have come up with a creative solution in order to get the seal to fall off of the ice. They utilize a behavioral technique called wave hunting, where one orca waits on the far side of the ice flow as the rest of the orca swim in a synchronized formation as fast as they can towards the ice flow, diving underneath right before they reach it. While the wave generated by the orca's formation and speed is then used to knock the seal right off of the ice flow and into the waiting jaws of the final orca. If the orca were successful in their hunt but not hungry, then they would exhibit the extremely rare behavior of letting their prey go. Due to the high complexity of many hunting patterns in orcas, they needed a lot of practice and sometimes it practiced more than they could eat. Thank you for watching my video depicting some of the strategic hunting patterns of the cooperative predators, orcas.